my full name is Aksalam Yowa Kennedy. I am a private tutor for secondary mathematics and have been in this business for quite some time. For 11 years, by the end of December, uh, this year, which is in 2014, in the past, I used to organize a number of pupils starting from 10 to about 20 and could take the extra lessons for mathematics. I do handle both junior and senior uh, secondary mathematics. This time around, I want to look at uh, a major topic, and this is uh, mensuration. Mensuration is a type of mathematics where we we study or we learn uh, measurements of plane figures and uh, shapes. So, without wasting much of your time, this being a major topic, I'm not going to cover it uh, all under one city, but I'm going to touch areas that are mostly uh, examined. I'm going to start from a square, a rectangle, and a circle, including a, a cone. And some of the questions that can be examined, such as finding the perimeter of a plane figure, finding the area, uh, surface area, and the total or surface area. So without wasting much of your time, if you watch that video CD, let me assure you that if you are a kind of a person who have been, who have been mistreating the shapes that are going to be discussed under that CD, upon watching, it is going to be the question of the uh, past. And I'm urging you to put into practice whatever it you are going to learn, as it is only by practicing that you can develop better uh, skills. So without wasting much of your time, let us look at the following shapes. In the first place, we look at uh, what can be termed to be a square. A square is a shape whereby all the edges are equal. This is equal to that, that is equal to that. This is said to be a square. Then uh, another shape to similar to a square, but uh, the two lengths are longer and the two, sh two, two other lengths are shorter. And this is a rectangle. I'm sure that is uh, seen a square, a rectangle, and uh, again, we look at this other shape. This is a triangle. It has got three angles and uh, uh, three sides. And uh, for this square, uh, these two opposite sides are parallel. Apart from being parallel, they are uh, they are equal. Then after that, let's have another shape with a center there. This is the, uh, this is a circle. Uh, let us look at the another shape. This is a, this is a circle. Uh, then uh, if we can join a rectangle and a triangle. We get a shape called a trapezium. Trapezium. This is a trapezium. Now, if you look at the triangle, the triangles are of, of different uh, types. Uh, there is an isosceles triangle whereby, if for an isosceles triangle, two sides can be equal and the two angles can be equal. And again, apart from that, uh, there can be what can be termed to be a right angled triangle. For a right angled triangle, one angle must be uh, 90 uh, degrees. Like, this is called the, a right angled triangle. It's a triangle, but it is a right angled triangle. Whereas a triangle like this one, let me say these two sides are equal. It is an isosceles triangle. And we can have another triangle whereby all the three sides if all the three sides can be equal, then such a triangle can be in, such a triangle can be a, a, an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle in such a way that it has all sides that are equal. Let me say instead of I do this, it is an equilateral triangle, meaning that all the angles are equal and all the edges are equal. And this is the right angle uh, triangle. 
So I'm not interested in naming the types of a triangle at this point in time, but I'm interested in uh, finding the perimeter and the area of uh, the, the shapes. So without wasting much of your time, uh, this is a square, a rectangle, a triangle, circle, a, tra a trapezium, and a, tri a, a triangle. Uh, we can have uh, any other shape uh, that can be said to be mm, a polygon. Uh, apart from a circle, all these uh, shapes you have seen, a square, rectangle, triangle, trapezium, and the right angle triangle are said to be polygons. But uh, a circle is not a polygon. A polygon is any shape uh, that can result by joining uh, straight uh, lines. That is uh, three or more straight lines, not two straight lines. So now, looking at the shapes, I'm interested in finding the uh, perimeter in the first place before I start looking at uh, uh, the area. How do we find the perimeter of a, a, a square? So if you look at a square, uh, this is the length and that is the length, that is the length and that is the length. So to find the perimeter, perimeter is total distance around the, the shape. So uh, this is arrow plus arrow plus arrow plus L. All the edges are equal. So the perimeter for this shape is said to be uh, four, four multiplied by its uh, four multiplied by its multiplied by uh, its length. Since the edges are equal, and this is said to be the total distance around in the shape. So if you are told to say find the perimeter, then it means that they are telling you to find the total distance around uh, the shape. If for instance, this is a square uh, of which its length is equal to 5 centimeters. Even this one should be 5 centimeters. If you can be open to say find the perimeter, Perimeter cannot be difficult to to find for this square. The perimeter for this square can be P is equal to 4 multiplied by L, of which means 4 multiplied by 5. And this perimeter is equal to 4 by 5. This is going to be 20 uh, centimeters. The units are important. If the units are given in meters, you have to indicate meters. But this time around, these are in uh, centimeters. I'm sure... Uh, looking at uh, the shapes uh, all together, let me get the shapes one by uh, by one. So like for this one, that is how to find uh, the perimeter. If it comes to a rectangle, a rectangle has got the length and the breadth. One side is shorter, the other one is longer. These two opposite sides are parallel. Apart from being parallel, they are also uh, equal. So to find the perimeter of this, perimeter is given by L plus L, which means 2L, uh, plus B plus B, uh, 2B. So this simplifies to perimeter is equal to 2 outside the brackets, then L plus B inside the, uh, the brackets. Or if you want, you can just go around adding everything, then you get uh, the perimeter. And for this triangle, if this is 3 units, that is 3 units, 3 units. Perimeter simply means the total distance around the shape. So what you have to do is 3 plus 3 plus 3, and this way perimeter is equal to uh, 9. And the units are not given if this is in meters, where well, in meters, so this can be 9 meters. So perimeter simply means the total distance around the, the shape. If you look at uh, this shape, this is uh, a square. So if you happen to know the distance from there to there, and from there to there, for, and moreover for a square, all the sides are equal. So to get its perimeter, you simply add the distance from there and that, and that distance multiplied by 4 because it has 4 equal or lengths. I'm sure uh, that is understood about perimeter. Same applies to a trapezium. You simply go around adding uh, that. And this, is, this happens to a triangle. So in order to understand uh, part of, parts of uh, these shapes. I am going to be picking on one shape after the other so that I explain how to find the perimeter and the area. I'm sure uh, that can be understood. And after that, for that shape, 
I am going to create a prism that is going to, or I am going to create to create a prism uh, that is going to be that can be formed as a result of uh, that particular shape that is going to be under our we'll start discussion. with. We look at the, uh, the first shape, which is said to be a square. For a square, all the edges are equal. For this shape, uh, that distance is equal to that distance, and that distance is equal to that distance. So let's assume that uh, this is 10 meters, and there it is 10 meters. So uh, even there it is uh, 10 meters, and this is... Uh, 10 meters. For a square, all the edges are equal. Now, from a square, uh, the first question you can expect is to find uh, the perimeter. Uh, the perimeter simply means the total distance around the shape. So, perimeter represented by that is it's got four lengths. So, it is four multiplied by four multiplied by length. So, perimeter is equal to four uh, four L. And the perimeter is equal to uh, where L in this regard is equal to 10 meters. So this is going to be 4 multiplied by uh, 10. And this way, perimeter is going to be uh, 40, 40 meters. I'm sure that is seen. That is the perimeter for this shape, the total distance around uh, this shape, which is said to be a square. I'm sure that is understood. Now, if we are told to find the area of a square, area of a square is given by area of a square is given by A is equal to L, L times L. And this area uh, can be L times L. Uh, since these are the same letter multiplied, this is L to the power at 2. So the area for this uh, square is 10 squared, of which area is equal to 10 multiplied by 10. And uh, that way, this is going to be the uh, area is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 hundred. Uh, this time it is meter squared. Every time you find the, uh, the area, uh, the units must be squared, I'm sure. Uh, that is, uh, I'm sure that is uh, understood, and at the same time, it is uh, seen. So, always when you find the area, the units must be squared, so it is 100 meters uh, squared. And that is how to find the area of uh, uh, this uh, square. And at times, you can be taught to find the length of its diagonal. Uh, this is called the major diagonal, and this is called the minor diagonal. So if you are told to find the length of its diagonal like that, if it is cut like that, then this results into a triangle, into two triangles, of which this is 10 and this is 10, and this is 90 degrees. So uh, to find the slant height of which you have to use it Pythagoras. And what it is is that for Pythagoras a theorem, you have to, for a right angled triangle, what you have to do is you have to square this length plus the square of that length is equal to the square of that longest uh, length. Let me call this as x, and this is uh, uh, x like, uh, like that, so that we see how x can be found. x can be found as x squared is equal to uh, 10 squared plus 10 squared. And this way, uh, x squared is equal to 10 squared plus 10 squared. I have to create a space where to work out uh, such a, a problem. And this is not uh, all that difficult, but simple and uh, straightforward. Uh, you have seen that by drawing it uh, diagonal uh, from there to there, and I call this length to be x, and this results into uh, another shape. It results into another shape, of which this is uh, a right angled triangle. Since for a square, all the, uh, all the angles it has got 490 degree angles. All the edges are 90 uh, degrees. So from there, this is uh, 10 and this is uh, 10. This is in meters and that is in meters. So to find x, x can be found by Pythagoras as x squared is equal to, since it is the longest, you have to square 10 squared plus uh, 10 squared. You square this side and that other 
uh, side like that. And this way, this is x squared is equal to 10 times 10, this is 100, plus 10 times 10, this is 100. And this way, x squared is equal to uh, 100 plus 100, this is 200, of which x squared is equal to uh, 200. Then from there, what you are going to do is to to get rid of this power two, you bring in the root this side and the root square root that side, that and that. Then x is equal to square root of uh, 200. This time around, I'm not going to find the square root of 200, but I express to say the square root of this 200 is the length of uh, that uh, x. I'm sure that is, I'm sure that is uh, understood. Now, from this shape, which is uh, a square, we can get a we can get a prism, and this prism is going to be called a cube, because this prism is going to have all the edges that all the edges that are, are equal. I'm sure that is understood. And if we do that, then uh, there are a number of questions that are going to be that can be examined under such a prism, which can be formed as a result of a square such as the uh, uh, volume and the uh, uh, total surface uh, area. So let allow me to draw uh, this uh, prism which can be formed as a result of a uh, square. In the first place I have to draw a square. Uh, this is the uh, square. Then uh, from a square I have to draw another a square of the same size. This is another square and of which if I join like that, then I get a prism uh, as a result. And this prism is as a result of a square. I'm sure uh, this prism can be I'm sure that this prism can be seen from from that far. Uh, I'm sure it, this prism can be seen from that far. So if you observe very carefully, uh, there is a length there, another length, another uh, length. And uh, if you observe very carefully, uh, it has uh, how many faces? One, two, three, four, five, five, six faces altogether of equal lengths. Let's assume that. Uh, this is uh, 5, uh, this is also 5, and that is uh, 5. So from there, you should expect equations such as find uh, the volume. And apart from the volume, to find the total surface area. Total surface area, it means the area of the six faces. I'm sure this is understood. Now, to find the volume, what it is is that as long as you can tell uh, the the shape of uh, the base and of which uh, for the square all the edges are, are equal so for the square it cannot be difficult to tell to tell the size of uh, to tell the base so allow me to shade uh, this base this is the base in a square form of which you know that uh, the base area is L times B area of the base then to get volume, it is base area multiplied by uh, the height. So volume is given by a base area or area base uh, multiplied by perpendicular height, meaning that the height which makes an angle of 90 degrees multiplied by multiplied by height. So to cut short, volume is equal to L of B. This is area base multiplied by uh, the height. Now, length, breadth, height. Now, since all the edges are equal, so volume is given by L multiplied by L multiplied by L. And that way, the formula is going to reduce to uh, V is equal to L to the power 3. I'm sure that is understood. So to get the volume, for this shape, volume is equal to L to the power 3, since all the edges are equal, and this volume is equal to oh, 5 to the power 3, and volume is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, 
of which the volume is going to be 5 times 5, uh, 25. 25 times 5, 125. Look at the units. If these are in meters, then the units must be squared. You have to say units, uh, since it is volume, units cub cubic. It's not area. Uh, any unit for volume must be uh, cubic. I'm sure that is understood. Uh, that is the the volume. So of which we know the area of the face. So it cannot be difficult to find uh, the total surface area. One face is 5 by 5. It's uh, 25. Area of the face. Every face is in a square form. So area area of the face. Face area is equal to L times L, of which this is L squared, and this is 5 to the power 2, which is equal to 25 meter R squared, because this is uh, area. So now, from area of the face, which is in, in shape of a rectangle, or which is in shape of, uh, this is 5 and that is 5, that is in shape of a square, on one face, and it has got how many faces, if you can count, there are 6 faces, 1 down the one shade, 2, Three, four, five, and six of equal uh, areas. So to find the total surface area, total uh, surface area. Uh, this is given by uh, total surface uh, area. This is given by. This is given by uh, six faces multiplied by. L squared, or L squared is the face, size of the face, uh, length times length. Mind you, one square, this is the length and that is the length, L times L to get 25. So that way, this is going to be 6 multiplied by uh, 25. Every face has an area of 25, 25 meter uh, squared. So since this is total surface area, the units are going to be uh, squared. If it is in meters, you have to indicate that meter squared. If it is in centimeters, you have to say centimeter squared. So six multiplied by six multiplied by twenty-five. Six by five, it is thirty, and six by two, it is twelve. Twelve plus three, fifteen. So this is one fifty meter uh, squared. That is total surface area. Of such a, a square, I am sure uh, that is understood. They have explained how to get the volume simply base area or area of one face multiplied by uh, the length, then you get the volume or base area L times B then multiplied by the length of which its volume is L to the power 3 since all the edges for the square are equal. I am sure that is uh, understood. And I have got the area of the face and at the same time I have got the the volume and I've got uh, the uh, total surface uh, area. Knowing the area of the face, uh, knowing that uh, every face is in a square form, we have multiplied 5 by 5 length by length to get uh, 25. Then to get volume multiplied by length, we have got the volume. And to get the total surface area, it has got 6 faces of uh, equal sizes. So 6 multiplied by the area for one face. I'm sure that is understood. What is important for this topic is to put into practice. And this is under this topic. This topic comprises of every uh, calculation. And in most cases, a calculator must be nearby because at times the questions which examiners bring, you can be given uh, the lens uh, as decimal or numbers. And in paper two, it's allowed to use a scientific calculator. Whereas in paper one, we do not use a scientific calculator. All the same, if you know the formula and how to go about the figures used in paper one are fair. So without wasting much of your time, let us move forward to another shape. And this time around, the shape is going to be uh, a rectangle. The plane figure is going to be a rectangle. And from a rectangle, we are going to get a cuboid. Uh, this is called a cube because it is as a result of a square. It's not cuboid, it's a cube. But uh, if a rectangle can, uh, we can join a rectangle to get uh, such a, 
a rectangular prism, then uh, that is going to be a cuboid. So let us look at a rectangle and see what can be examined under a rectangle. For a rectangle, we get a rectangular prism. And this rectangular prism is what is said to be a cuboid. So that wasting much of your time. Uh, this is a rectangle. Now from a rectangle, we can get a rectangular uh, prism. And this rectangular prism is what is said to be uh, a cuboid. I'm sure I have seen the two shapes. This is a rectangle. Then from a rectangle, we get a rectangular prism. Let's assume that these are straight lines. So from a rectangle, we get a rectangular prism. So if you observe very carefully, uh, this is the this is a rectangle I've explained how to find the area and the, the perimeter the perimeter means the total distance around this shape but area of a rectangle is given by area multiplied by by B so now uh, let's assume that for this rectangle the length the length is 10 and the breadth is 5. So even there, the length, longest side is 10 and the shortest side is uh, 5. Whereas uh, the height is not going to be 5, it is going to be a uh, 2. The distance from there to there is the perpendicular height and this distance from there to there is uh, 5. Whereas distance from there uh, to there is uh, 10. And I assume that these are in centimeters. And this is in centimeters. So now, looking at uh, this shape, uh, a rectangle and the rectangular prism. And the other name given to a rectangular prism, like this one, is a cuboid. So this is a cube. Cuboid. This is a, not a cube, but a cuboid, because it is uh, formed as a result of a rectangle. Now from a cuboid, what you should expect it to find is you can be questioned to find uh, the volume. Uh, one, then two, you can be questioned to find the total surface area. Uh, the area of uh, the faces. The total surface, total surface area, volume and total surface area, of which for this one, a plane figure can be told to find the perimeter, either a perimeter or the perimeter or the rectangle. So without wasting much of your time, how do we get the volume of a cuboid? And uh, always, as you know, uh, uh, cross section area or area of the base multiplied by perpendicular height. I'm sure that is understood. That is a cuboid uh, volume. Volume is given by a base area multiplied by perpendicular. Perpendicular, perpendicular, multiplied by perpendicular height. So volume is equal to area base. The base is in form of a rectangle. This is L times B. Then perpendicular height can be given by uh, H. So what it is is that uh, this is uh, the length, uh, this is uh, the breadth, and this is what the height. So L of BH. So volume is equal to the length of this is what 10 centimeters. Multiplied by the breadth, it's 5 centimeters. And multiplied by the perpendicular height, this is 2 centimeters. So that way volume is going to be 10 multiplied by 5, 50. 50 times 2, uh, this is 100 uh, centimeters. Uh, cubic. Mind you, volume it's a centimeter cubic, but area uh, it's a base area, it's a 10 times 5. It is 50 centimeter squared because it is uh, area. I'm sure that is understood. Let me add there to say area a base. This is L times B. It's a rectangle of which this is 10 times 5 and this is equal to 50 
centimeter squared. The units for area must be squared, whereas for volume must be cubic. That you should bear in, in mind. I'm sure that is understood. So that is how to find the, the volume and the area of the base. So base area times B, this is 50, uh, multiplied by perpendicular height, which is uh, 2 centimeters. I'm sure that is understood. Now, after that, we have to find the total surface area. So we have to know how many are the surfaces that are, are similar to the other. So if you look at the base and the top part, uh, these two faces are, are equal. And again, if you look at this face and that other face, they are also equal. If you look at this face and that other face, they are also equal. So the best thing I can do is to draw the faces that uh, can be seen from this uh, uh, cuboid. I'm sure uh, that way better. So explaining the faces from this cuboid, allow me to clear this space so that uh, I show how these faces can be shown. If you observe very carefully, so you have to look at the faces. In the first place, I get this which is uh, the best. Let me show it in a different color. The base and the top part, these are equal. This is uh, 10 by 5 and 50. There are two of them. So uh, the, the base, this is the base and the top part. This is the base and the top. Uh, of what size? This is 5 and uh, 10. Of which the area L times B, the area comes to 50. And centimeter uh, squared. There are two of them. Then uh, let me show uh, the top part also in yellow so that uh, from that far you can see the base and the top. Uh, this is uh, these two are equal. Then uh, apart from that, we have uh, the, this face, this face and that other face. This is uh, 10 centimeters and the height there is 2 centimeters. So I have to show using a different color that and that. The height here is 2 from there to there, and this is 10 times 2. So the first one, and we know that these are rectangles. Even without drawing them, there are six faces altogether. So the first six, there are six, there are six faces altogether. So that two, there are six faces altogether. So without even drawing them, Without even drawing the six, uh, the six faces, let me show these uh, six faces. Uh, the first one, ten times, uh, ten times uh, five. Uh, then this is times two. There are two of that kind. Then uh, ten times two. I'm sure you have seen them. There are two of that kind. Ten times two. Then again. This is 2 multiplied by 5. There are also 2. This side and this other side. And this is 5 by 2. So this is length 5 by, by 2. Uh, multiplied by 2. So these are the 6 faces. 2 faces, 2 faces, 2 faces. All together are 6 faces. So to get the total surface area, it cannot be a problem. So 10 times 5. Uh, in the first place, this is 50. 50 times 2. So there you get 100. And this is centimeter, uh, centimeter squared because it is total surface uh, area. And this time around, we are not dealing with the, we are not trying to find the volume, but the total surface area for the shape. And for this one, 10 times 2, it's 20. 20 times 2, this is equals to 40 uh, centimeter squared. And uh, the last two faces, uh, 5 times 2, 10 times 2, uh, this is 20. A centimeter uh, squared. So all together to get the total surface area, uh, 100 plus 40, 140 plus 20, this is 160. So in short, you have seen how I have got the total uh, surface area of a cube. So for six faces, this is 160 centimeter uh, squared. I'm sure that is understood. You have got the area of the bottom part 
10 times 5, then multiplied by 2. Again, there, uh, 5 by 2, 10 multiplied by 2. And these faces, this is 10 multiplied by, uh, by 2. Again, multiplied by 2. That is where I got it. For the, so the total surface area is 160 centimeter squared. I'm sure that is understood. So you have to be very careful. And again, you have to put in a lot of uh, practice for you to understand uh, these uh, shapes. They are not all that uh, difficult. Out of the six faces, I have managed to get the total surface area. At the same time, I have managed to get uh, the volume. So we move on. We look at another shape of which this shape is going to be a, a triangle and see what we can get from uh, the triangle. What are the expected questions from a triangle? Of course, the perimeter must be a must. It is total distance around that shape. And in, in this regard, I'm going to draw two different triangles, a right angle triangle and a non-right angle triangle.